Hello guys and welcome to a new Let's Play in Victoria 2 where we are going to be playing as the glorious nation of Jan Mayen. Uh, right now we're playing as Sweden and that is simply because at the beginning of the game in Victoria 2 uh, Jan Mayen is a part of the Kingdom of Sweden. Uh, so I decided just to start out as Sweden just, just to show you guys how to uh, play as Jan Mayen basically. Um, so yeah, why don't we get started? Uh, the, basically what you want to do is you want to start out as Sweden and you want to go into politics and you want to go into release nations and then you will get the option to release either Norway or Jan Mayen. Since we are going to be playing as Jan Mayen, we are going to click on release nation and play as. And BAM! We are now playing as <laughs> the glorious nation of Jan Mayen. Uh, Alright, so where where is Jan Mayen you might ask? Well, let me show you. Dun, 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 dun. Here it is, Jan Mayen, <laughs> the most pointless nation in history. Yes, uh, let's just get the game started here a little bit. Just so that there we go. Just to sort of that the game can update. And here we are. This is our nation, the tiny island of Jan Mayen. Uh, so why do I want to play as Jan Mayen? That's a very good question. I, if I would say so myself. Well, I was just googling around on um, the Googles and the internets and I came to stumble upon uh, something kind of interesting and I haven't seen any videos on YouTube yet covering this so I um, decided to make a video of it on my own. Uh, so yeah, here we are. Um, so I guess some of you guys might even be surprised that this nation even is a thing and I can go as far as saying uh, right now that this isn't going to be a very serious let's play because this isn't a very <laughs> serious nation. Uh, this is sort of just an inside, or it's just pretty much a just joke nation uh, in Victoria 2. It's not nothing serious, it's just made because it's kind of funny. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm not going to be spoiling though exactly what uh, makes this so uh, funny and interesting. Other than the fact that, I mean, seriously, we're playing as Jan Mayen. <laughs> Uh, but basically, what you want to do at the beginning of the game uh, is that you want to save up some money. You don't actually need to save up some money, you do actually start out with some money. I think you need like 4,000 or something like that, and then you want to get to... Um, you need to get to secondary power status. Um, uh, so that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, so more information on this Let's Play is that uh, currently uh, I am running the expansion packs... Um, uh, I'm pretty much running all the new ex newest expansion uh, packs as of, you know, me recording this, which is A House Divided and uh, um, Heart of Darkness, I believe it's called. Uh, I don't have, like, the minor expansions, which gives you, like, unique units and stuff like that. To be honest, I don't perfectly know exactly what they're called and, you know, whatever. Uh, so I, I don't have them, uh, but the game is also totally unmodded. I have no mods installed, no nothing. So, um, yeah, the uh, Jan Mayen is actually a nation in vanilla Victoria 2. Uh, so, let's take a look at some other things. Uh, we have a glorious population of 15 pops, which is about 60 people. So, yeah. This might si sound like nothing, but uh, actually, this is actually more people um, than in the real world. Because in the real world, this isn't really an island. Uh, I guess, you know, you cannot compare Jan Mayen to, let's say, you know, the um, Balearics, for example. Uh, in, in the, you know, today uh, Jan Mayen is a uh, part of Norway, which is my nation, by the way, in real life. Um, and that is sort of, I guess you can see that's represented in the game by the fact that the island is 100% Norwegian. So I think, like, today it's only, like, 18 people living on the island, and they're not really living there, because it's really just, uh, there's really nothing on this island other than, like, a weather station and something like that, because it's really just a volcanic island or some shit like that. Um, I don't know, uh, yeah, yeah, it's something like that, I can't say for sure. It's basically like an arctic island that no one likes, and Norway just happens to own it, and as a result has a weather station on that. So, yeah. Um, let's go and do some politics. Uh, we are currently a um, Her Majesty's government, so basically we have sort of uh, inherited the political system of the Swedes, uh, political parties, that'll be the, um, the Venstre Höyre and Stridpartiet. Uh, conservatives, liberals, and uh, reactionaries. I'm just going to immediately change to uh, the reactionaries just for the lulz, because they have jingoism and all that nice stuff that we need for a glorious empire. Because uh, that is what we will be doing. We will be forming a glorious empire as Jan Mayen. Or 
calling it an empire might be overdoing it, but ah, no! We must keep um, keep high hopes for this Let's Play. Alright, uh, some more stuff. We have no technology, so let's go ahead and grab ourselves a technology. We want to make sure we take the prestige technologies early on, because that's really our only way of uh, becoming stronger. Because uh, as I mentioned earlier, you need to get to uh, secondary power status. Um, that's sort of an, an early game goal that you need to try and chase for and try to get. Uh, I'm also going to go ahead and encourage... Uh, there's no real point in encouraging like soldiers and all that because, I mean, seriously, <laughs> 15 people. You, I mean, you need 3,000 pops or something like that in order to get a, uh, a regiment. So you're not going to be able to recruit any troops. Sorry. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and encourage reactionary, tr uh, peop um, reactionary thoughts. There's no real reason for this, it's just mostly for the lols, and just to do something, um... It would be fun, because uh, you don't, you know, um, you don't need very many people converting to reactionary thoughts before you can start doing some funny stuff. Um, so yeah, we can take a look at pop our population areas. We have 15 farmers, 15 Norwegian Protestant farmers living here. 80% literacy, it's nice. So let's go into the budgets. Um, yeah, we don't really have a budget. <laughs> That's, uh, yeah. It's kind of to be expected. I guess we kind of have a budget that represents our nation. We, like, we only have 15 people. Or we actually have 60 people, but 15 pops. And I believe a pop is like, it represents a family or something like that. So it really doesn't matter what we put our taxes on. It doesn't matter what, like, really, I mean, th there's nothing. I mean, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to say. This is just, uh, yeah. So, I mean, there... <laughs> Oh my god, uh, there's really nothing we can do other than just sit around and wait for prestige to go up because that's basically what we need to... Um, I mean, that's really the only thing we can do right now, so... Um, yeah. Okay, uh, so we can change some reforms, we can go ahead and increase the voting, uh, but to be honest, I'm not too, too interested in any of these things as I... Um, don't actually... I, I, I don't want to have a liberal... Uh, government. I want to have a absolute uh, autocratic rulership or something like that. That sounds badass. Uh, we can actually recruit a navy, uh, but uh, my advice would be to not do that, simply because you, you're you going to need the money, as I mentioned earlier. That's basically your two goals in the beginning of the game. Uh, you want to go ahead and research prestige technology and save your money. And I'll show you guys why later on. So yeah, this is interesting. This is most likely the most interesting Let's Play ever. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, fun stuff. Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't know. What, I don't know what to say. I don't really know what to say anymore. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna do a cut here. Uh, do a little bit of editing because I, I I have a little bit of a feeling that you guys are not too interested in watching me sitting sitting around watching a tiny little frozen Arctic island, not doing anything. Oh oh no, <laughs> we have lost some population. We've lost like uh, eight people. Oh well, that's sad. But that's 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 such is the life of the people of Jan Mayen. I'll be back in. Uh, I'll I'll be back once something interesting happens. Okay, we are back, and we just researched our first technology, Romanticism. So now we will get our glorious population of 58 people uh, working on uh, things such as um, Romanticistic literature, art, and music. That's really our population. That's, that's like the whole purpose of our people. 15 people just sitting around, or I guess 58, whatever. F 58 people just sitting around just creating, uh, you know, internationally recognized art and music, and uh, yeah. People in like London would be like, hey man, have you heard the latest hit from uh, the people of Jan Mayen? It's so rad, bro. Yeah. Yeah, and that's totally how um, English people in um, <laughs> 1838 sounded like. So you're going to immediately go in and select the next prestige technology as, um, as we really don't have anything else to do. There's a 2% two two chance of us getting this, uh, and really, it's all about luck at this point. We just have to try and be lucky uh, to try and achieve um, ah the coronation of Queen Victoria. How nice. Uh, really, really just have to sit around and try and be lucky, so, you know, to get enough prestige to be able to rank up if you want to secondary power status. So, uh, I'm going to be sitting down and working on that, and I'll be back once we are closing in on that goal. 
Okay, here we are again. Some time has passed and we are now really closing in on getting the secondary power status. Um, <laughs> I'm going to be very honest though and I'm just going to go ahead and say that uh, I actually had to restart the Let's Play sort of off camera. Simply because I got really unlucky and I didn't, I didn't uh, you know, get the inventions that I needed. Because basically, um, you need to be rather lucky so that you make sure that you get these ideas here. Or, not ideas, um... Yeah, inventions. Uh, you need to research the technology and then you have to be lucky to get the... Um, so that you get the uh, the inventions before other nations. Because if, you, if the other nations gain these things before you do, then you don't get uh, even as close to as much prestige as you would otherwise. So you need to try... Um, you need to just be very lucky. I mean, Victoria 2 is a very luck-based game. A lot of things in this game is very determined by luck. So... Um, yeah... Uh, don't feel too ashamed if you have to restart. I mean, if, uh, you're playing as Yan Mine, goddammit. You, you deserve that. And I deserve that as well. So, yeah, let's keep the game going here. And uh, currently researching technology, um, um, uh, this one. Uh, as uh, That's basically all the way of getting prestige I know of. Basically, the prestige technology right here, and these also give you prestige. Uh, and then there is the commerce ones. Which also gave prestige. Of course, the, these don't give you as much prestige. At least the individual ideas, or I mean, uh, inventions. Fuck, I've been playing too much European Universal this <laughs> for. Uh, the, the individual inventions don't, don't give you that uh, much prestige compared to the uh, culture ones. But it's still a significant thing that you shouldn't... You should take it into consideration, so... Uh, yeah. Uh, and there we go, we have another technology. Not quite getting us up to that uh, level that we need, uh, but we're working on it. So I guess we're just going to have to sit around and wait until the technology right here finishes so that we can uh, get the technology that we require. So I guess I'll do a little bit of a cut again and I'll come back once we have researched this technology. Okay, we are back and that was pretty much uh, no time at all actually. Kind of a pointless little bit of editing there, but uh, yeah, we actually didn't get to finish the technology. I just happened to get secondary power status. Uh, don't ask me why, I'm sure there is some sort of event in the world that made that happen. Uh, the North German Federation exists now. I, I can't remember whether or not they exist before. I, 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 I just didn't pay attention, I only watched the island. So, um, if I don't know, maybe they absorbed some nations, I have no idea. Point is, is that we are now uh, a secondary power, which allows us to do a decision called the Polar Bear Purchase. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, and as, as, as I just want to put this out there once again, um, you know, this game is completely unmodded. I have no mods installed. This, this is completely vanilla. I explained the expansions in the beginning of the game or beginning of the episode, whatever. So there you go. Um, uh, so yeah, why don't we go ahead and do this? Um, yeah, let's go into decisions, and here we go, the polar beer purchase. <laughs> this is probably the most, the, the silliest thing I've ever seen in any Paradox game. Seriously, this is just, oh my god, I, I'm just gonna read it. It has long been a trouble fact that the great people of Jan Mayen, no, it has... Fuck, I'm bad at this. <laughs> uh, it has long been a troubling fact to the great people of Jan Mayen that all the world's polar bears are not unified under one flag. <laughs> we should approach Denmark and see if they are willing to part with theirs. Of course they should. God, oh my god, this is... Okay, let's do it. Click it. Uh, so basically what you need, uh, where you can see it right here, you need... Um, yeah, ba basically you just need to be a secondary power and you need to... Um, have the 4,000 money. I don't know what currency this is. So let's click it and see what happens. And there we go, the polar bear purchase. Denmark accepts. Denmark has agreed to sell us all of their polar bears. Indeed they have. Great, so we lose some money. That's fine, uh, but yeah. Uh, so basically what this does is that it makes it so that we buy the, um, the all the polar bears. All of the polar bears now belong to us, of course, yes. So as a result, we just bought Greenland, Iceland, and the uh, Faroe Islands uh, from, Dan from Denmark, and we now own them. Uh, which means that uh, the polar bears are finally united under one flag. It's a, it's a glorious day. 
And not only that, uh, the polar bears uh, are not only united, but they have taken a new position in our society. Uh, they have risen up and grabbed power. Yeah. <laughs> Let me show you. Uh, so if we go into our uh, fucking nation now, and now you can see that <laughs> this is our population. We now have 20,000 dudes and our primary, primary culture is polar bears. Yes, that's... <laughs> <laughs> That's oh my god. Uh, we also accept Swedish and Norwegian for some reason. I, I can understand Norwegian, but whatever. Point is, our fucking <laughs> primary culture is polar bears. That is glorious as hell. Um, uh, so yeah, sad thing though, you will never actually see the polar bear uh, culture in the islands as there. I mean, because there is no polar bear pops at the beginning of the game, so there's just. I mean, it's not possible for them to appear. There's just no. You know, the, the game is just not designed that way, I guess. But, uh, I guess the, so, you know, the polar bear population of Yao Mayan uh, has sort of taken upon a, a leading role. That's sort of the purpose of the polar bear population. Uh, to lead the humans uh, to, to glorious world conquest and empire building. Uh, for example, if we go into our military and we create a general, now you can see we have the old filthy human generals uh, from the old uh, empire of the just this island but now that we have become unified we can finally recruit <laughs> polar bear generals yes grr, grr, grr. let's recruit an admiral as well uh gr grovel bailey yes of course genius <laughs> I have no idea what the developers thought. What? What? I don't know what went they went through their heads when they designed this shit. But yeah, there we go. The polar bear nation. Uh, so now maybe the the thumbnail of this video makes a little a little bit more sense. Um, all right. So there you go. Uh, the polar bears has been united and. Um, and yeah, I I really don't know what to say anymore right now. Let's just enjoy. Let's just enjoy the moment for a second, and just think of the fact that we now we are actually ruled by the polar bears, and for some reason we cannot. Oh no, we can't tax our people. Never mind. Uh, so then, yeah. Um, but now our nation is sort of starting to resemble more of a an actual nation. Uh, we actually have a decent chunk of provinces now. We have one province here, Iceland, which have a decent population. It's not like it's actually pretty shitty, but it's. It's better than, you know, our actual island. There's there's one family living here now. Yeah, that's... But here's another kind of hilarious thing. Uh, these places are actually regarded as colonies of the, um, of the Yan Mayan kingdom. So, <laughs> if, you, uh, if you take a look at this, you can see that... Uh, workforce. That's a little bit weird. There's one family inhabiting all of these different... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Um, uh, this is, I, mean, I guess the game isn't sort of designed around, I mean, this, the whole fact that there's only, like, one family living here right now is kind of confusing the, uh, game a little bit, I guess. But the funny thing is that, uh, because since these territories are regarded as colonies, they don't get to vote. So, basically, right now, uh, the, the entire population that gets to vote in uh, Yan Mayan elections are living on a Yan Mayan. So there's one family determining the entire future of this nation. Of course, the true power lies with the, the polar bears. Uh, the polar bear royalty, of course, on the top, of course, you know, makes the real decisions, but it's an interesting little fact here. So, yep, there you go. Yeah, mine. Yes. So, uh, as I mentioned earlier, I just, I, 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 I can't perfectly remember what I was derping around on the internet, but I just have happened to stumble upon um, you know, I, I was just stumbling. I stumbled upon, you know, the uh, the Wikipedia article, uh, a Wikipedia page. Not, not, uh, you know, uh, Victoria Two has this, has its own wiki, uh, Wikipedia kind of thing going on. Uh, and ooh, here's something kind of interesting happened. I'm going to show this later. Um, some, um, so I just happened to be derping around on the uh, wiki, and I I googled because I I already knew that Yan Mine existed, but back when I played as Yan Mine before. The um, you, you it was not actually possible to um, you know the the decision to you know buy I Greenland and Iceland and uh, you know get polar bears as your primary culture and all that stupid stuff. It wasn't really um, it wasn't really in the game yet. So I just when I was reading the uh, Wikipedia article, I was kind of like, what? It said like 
you know, get the get secondary power status and get money, and then you can get polar bears as generals. And I was like, what? No, that what? And I tested it, and it actually worked. So I decided to show it to you guys. There's something kind of interesting that I wanted to show off that I kind of, um, which was kind of my purpose of putting the reactionaries or trying to force these people to become reactionaries. Uh, since these two families are the only ones that are allowed to vote uh, in the elections, we now have a. Um, uh, and 100% uh, and majority of the reactionaries, and that allows us to do some kind of funny stuff. Most importantly, we can do this thing, which uh, we can do ruling party only, which basically makes it so that only the reactionaries are ever, ever again going to be allowed to be in the upper house. And this makes it so that we can do all kinds of reactionary decisions. We can uh, take away voting, we can take away all reforms, can allow slavery. Uh, of course, we must allow slavery. We must we must make the humans understand that polar bear rule is absolute, and they must respect that. Of course, of course. <laughs> uh, so yeah, funny stuff. Uh, now the question is, what to do next? How shall the glorious empire John Mayan uh, actually become an empire? Well, let me tell you, I have a plan. Uh, I, I guess you could just end it right here and just have a laugh and then be over with it. But I actually kind of wanted to try to see if we could actually have some success as this nation. Um, so I have done some testing, I'm going to admit that. And I've sort of tried and I've, I've come up with a plan that I think is going to work. Because normally when you're playing as a small nation... Um, you ba basically, the way to expand is that you you get spared by a bigger nation, and basically you ally with that nation, and you make that nation do the fighting for you. So, for example, if you were playing as fucking uh, Württemberg, then uh, if you wanted to expand, a good strategy would be to ally the Austrians and declare war on Tunisia. And they would conquer Tunisia for you, and you can use Tunisia sort of as a base of operations. Oh, the French actually conquered Tunisia. That's not good for my plans. Oh well. Ah well, I'll figure something else out. Uh, so that's basically my plan. But the kind of difficult thing about playing as Yan Mayan is that you're playing as Yan Mayan and no one gives a fuck about Yan Mayan. So you're not going to get spared by anyone. So what are you going to do to solve that? Well, let me tell you. Um, you are going to have to spare someone else. And the only way to do that is to become a great power and spare someone. Yeah, that's happening, hopefully. Uh, I haven't actually done it before, but I, in theory, it is possible, because I've seen people before doing it. Basically, you just have to be super lucky with all the prestige technologies and do everything you can to spam prestige. Every event you get, you need to get the option that gives you prestige. And it is, in theory, possible to, to gain a great power status on prestige alone. And that's basically what I'm going to be trying to do. Of course, this is a... I mean, doing that is purely luck-based. And you're going to be... Um, you're going to have to uh, rely pretty much purely on luck in order for it to succeed. So... Um, here you go, here's a good example. Uh, we can send an expedition to God knows where. Somewhere. Um, some British colony. And there you go. Bam! We just had more prestige and that uh, increased our rank. So by... I think uh, I'm going to keep in, you know, getting... Um, you know, ideas, uh, and, and, you know, I mean, uh, interventions, inventions and technologies to give ourselves prestige, and hopefully we can reach great power status. I will most likely have to restart this campaign a couple of times before that is successful, as I mentioned, is a very luck-based thing. Um, so I'll come back to you once uh, we have something um, interesting going on. Or basically whenever I'm starting to at least have have a feeling that we might be closing in on some some success here. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you then. And we are finally back! Yes! Okay! So, um, you might notice that a lot of stuff has changed in the world. Um, the situation that we are in now is very different from uh, what we were in when you guys... Uh, when I left you guys and uh, started doing things sort of off-camera. Um, the reasoning behind this is simply that I, uh, in the beginning I sort of recorded, like, uh, gradually as I made progress, but after a while I got tired simply because I had to restart so many times, and I didn't really feel like you guys seeing a bunch of gameplay from a game that wasn't actually going to be featured in 
the end, if that makes any sense. Point is, I uh, got tired of constantly having these sort of failed recordings, so I decided I was not going to start recording until I was pretty much 100% certain that I was going to have a success. Uh, still can't say that I'm 100% certain that success is upon us, but I am pretty confident. Uh, sort of as a way to um, try and ensure that success is upon us, or sort of minimize uh, this as a failed recording, I'm going to go in and speed up the game, and I'm sort of going to try and explain how I got to this point uh, while we watch the Austrians invade the Italians. You might ask, hmm, what's this all about? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Well, alright, so uh, basically what happened uh, was that I spent like, Forever. Oh, you guys don't even know how much time I've spent trying to get this to work. Uh, I spent like forever trying to get great power status, and eventually I got it, and I was like, oh yeah, super happy and stuff. Fuck yeah. Um, so I got great power status, so I uh, decided to influence um, Italy, because I wanted to convince them to join me in an, in an invasion of Ethiopia. And that was a good idea and all, but it didn't actually work out, because like, the second I allied myself with Italy, they had like a huge revolution that basically just fucked up everything. So then I basically had to redo it all. Um, well, I didn't have to redo it, but I basically had to cancel my plans for um, for influencing, uh, or for, for, for allying Italy. So I decided to ally with the Austrians instead, and then a bunch of crap happened that almost made it, you know, destroyed my game again. Uh, basically, like, first, uh, like, there was this crisis that happened, and I, I either could choose to not join it, or join it, but if I didn't join it, I would lose, like, a bunch of prestige, and that would mean the end of my great power status, and as a result, the end of my, you know, game, basically. Um, uh, and I, or I could choose to join, so I did actually join, I was super lucky, there was no war, and I was actually on the winning side, so I actually got a bunch of prestige, which was actually super necessary in order to keep me in the great power status. You can see I'm losing it right now. But that's, uh, that's fine. I am not too worried about that, because I got what I wanted now, so I'm, I'm rather confident that we should be fine. Um, so yeah, what else? Um, so yeah, after that, um, uh, basically I thought to myself, okay, now we got it. So I decided basically to use the fact that, uh, that Italy was in sort of a civil war thingy. Basically the fact that they had no army. Um, because they basically one like when I you know you know the story where I allied them and then they had a revolution and all that crap. Uh, they they've basically been like in a constant state of civil war all the way since that happened. So uh, and there we go, the first glorious army of the polar bears. Of course, most polar bear army, led by Bamsegr. Yes. <laughs> oh my God. Um, but yeah. So then. Uh, I was about to invade Italy, and guess what? Austria got invaded by Austria, France... No, not Austria. Austria got invaded by Russia, France, and some other derps. And that was kind of annoying, and it was and it was all about some stupid... Like, they were allied to the Spanish, and the Spanish went full retard and decided it was a good idea to invade France, uh, of all people, in order to conquer this place. Um, of course, they lost, and uh, Austria lost as well. Uh, but then, uh, once they were out of that, I had actually lost my great power status at that point. Or not really lost it, I don't know what happened. But at least Austria had been kicked out of my uh, sphere. But then I got them back into my sphere, and I invaded Italy, and they joined, and that's basically where we're right now. Uh, so sorry for not recording all that, but as you could see, I mean, there was a, lo a lot of those times I was really confident that this was the end of the game, so I didn't really want to record another one of those failed recordings. But of course, it actually ended up being rather successful, as you can see right now. Oh my god. Uh, acquire Campania, that's the one I want, and Emilia, what? I'm guessing the Austrians have... Um... Yep, the Austrians have gone ahead and asked for Amelia, sure. So I guess this uh, means peace with the good old... Uh, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, sure, sure. Let's go and get peace with the Italians. Uh, so uh, Campania is this region right here. And yeah, yeah, there, there you go. Uh, I don't know what to say, I don't know what to say. I really don't know what to say. Success is upon us. It... Yes! Holy fuck, this took forever to complete. This was probably one of the difficult, most difficult games I've ever had. 
uh, in this game. But of course, we are not done yet. There's still stuff that needs to be done. Right now, we need to rush um, building these guys because there's going to be a lot of militancy. You can already already see there's been a bunch of these Sicilian derps have started um, uh, amassing and planning in um, an attack on me. Because they don't want to be ruled by polar bears, which I can I can respect that I can respect that they don't want to be ruled by polar bears, but I mean they, they they're not allowed to choose that. That's our call. So yeah. So now I'm going to be trying to rush recruit an army. I'm also going to try and send my navy down there so that hopefully we can get our we can get a decent army built before they um, before they revolt revolt basically. That's the plan, anyways. I'm going to rush the fleet down here, put it into this port right here. Um, so yeah, I guess we... That, that's basically how I got to this point. I guess I can explain some other things while we're waiting. Um, so you can see the world is kind of interesting. Uh, I never got to take part in the Scramble for Africa, which is kind of sad, but I mean, what, what are you expecting? I'm fucking Jan Mine. <laughs> I mean, you can't really expect anything other than that. Um, so yeah. Uh, in general, you can see a lot of nations in the world have been sort of colonized by different powers. Oh crap, we have nationalists. Oh crap, retreat, retreat! Damn it, where are you Austrians when you need you? Come on, win, win, win! No, you lost. Well, at least they got retreated over here. Uh, what do you build? A chiller. Okay, we can, we can still pull this off. We can still pull this off. I am confident. We can still pull this off. If we are... Okay, they just lost. Okay, yep, stop the whole recruitment. Oh my, no! Okay, I, I refuse to let these guys revolt or take my lovely nation. I don't care if I'm bankrupt. I take loans. We have taken a bunch of them already. Okay, so let's get rid of all this shit. We don't need that. All of this social spending, all of this navy crap. Let's focus purely on army and army production. So once this are no, yeah, we should be able to pull this off. Oh man, this is tense. This is the beginning of the Yanmine Empire. We cannot let it collapse so early. Oh crap, they have like no morale. We, we're oh shit. I I cannot go into. Let's wait a little bit longer. Try and get some morale back. Come on, morale. Oh, there you go. Tiny bit of morale. That's that's enough. We cannot. We can wait no longer. The polar bear must be victorious. Okay, nice, nice. Kill them. Let's get in here, try to kill off these derps before they cancel my recruitment. Uh, they've been... Oh, crap, they've cancelled everything. Oh, shit. Hopefully I don't go bankrupt, that would be an issue. <laughs> oh, crap, I'm already losing my great power status. Yeah, but I fuck, I don't care. Oh, here we go. We have got some more troops. Okay, let's kill the rebellion. Kill it good. Here we go, nice. And then the last troop, like so. There we go. Nice. Okay, good, 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 good. The polar bears. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so we have recruited maximum here. Uh, we cannot recruit any more. Is that because we have no money? That's because we have no money. That's an issue. We need money then. Uh, tariffs go must go through the roof now. That's necessary. I'm going to reduce all sort of military spending. I'll try to get some money back up so we can build... Um... Ooh! Ah, yes! Colonial exp Exposition. A rousing chair for the Empire. The glorious Empire of uh, polar bears and crap. Oh, yes! Oh, I, 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 I'm, I don't know, man. I We fucking did it. We fucking did it. I'm kind of, I'm kind of overwhelmed right now. To be honest. Oh, wow. Look at this conflict. Okay, so now we need to just focus on sort of just... Um, I'm sorry, by the way, for this being a little bit awkward. I'm not sort of showing off exactly what has happened and, you know, what's going on in the world. But I'm kind of just like, I really don't want to lose this. I've spent far too much time <laughs> getting to this point. I refuse to... Um, I refuse to uh, lose this shit. Oh, we actually have a decent chunk of industry. We're subsidizing it. Ooh. That's where all our money is going. Yeah, f no, fuck the... Uh, no, go away, Austria. I don't like you. Uh, we are losing great power status, but I don't think that's going to be too much of a problem. Oh, crap. Uh, oh, now we have a crisis. I guess we have no choice but to put our interest in there. 
Wow. Wow, this is just escalating like crazy. I'm just gonna wait and see which side gets the, um... Which side is going to, you know, get the most supporters. Uh, so this is Austria and Belgium versus Germany. Um, I guess I want to side with Austria. They are my ally, after all. And I really don't want to lose them as an ally, so... Yeah. Why is my navy dying, even though it's in the port? That's not how it's supposed to be. Ooh! More prestige! Nice! Getting a oh, oh, look at that! Uh, it seems like we have lost the um, only ruling party thing. Oh well. Ah, that's fine. Yeah, let's actually go in and get some voting rights back in there. I know, so much for that. Uh, oh, Great War. Ooh, Commonwealth of Senegal. Oh, wow. A lot of shit is happening right now, and we are... Oh, look at that, the army is growing. Nice. Let's get the army united over here. Polar Bear Army, yes! Uh, we can still recruit a unit over here, so why don't we do that? Um, I, yeah, let's get some more infantry, actually. And let's also pay some of these loans. Pay them back, so we don't have to deal with that. And now our economy is kind of not really stabilizing. Let's go and increase spending. Especially in this category right here. Get that down a little bit. No need to overdo it. Social spending. Try to get the happiness up a little bit. Make the people understand that there is no better thing than to be ruled by polar bears. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, nice. The crisis went over. We did not get, We did not need to take part in it. And look at that. Romania just became independent. That's actually an issue. Because our ally is Austria. Sorry, Austria, for not supporting you, but you kind of had that hide it coming to you. It's not my problem. Let's get some tax thing here. But yeah, I think we are good to go now. We we have a totally fucked up industry, which is totally failing at life. Uh, let's go and open this one. These factories usually do nice... Yeah, limit, limited constitutionalism. I feel like it's worth it. We really need to work on... Um, we really need to work on... Um, Stabilizing our nation right now, because there's a lot of militancy going on in. Um, let's take a look here. Where is the map mode for militancy or rebel risk or whatever you want to call it? There we go. Revolt risk. Oh no, the revolt risk isn't that bad. At least I mean it's green at least. Oh wow. <laughs> okay, look at Iceland. Wow, they're having some issues. Oh well. But yeah, I think. I think this is it. I think this is this is it indeed. I don't think we have to bother about too much more now. Hey, we're great power again. Uh, nice. That's very good, actually. Sweet. Okay, and that means we're still going to be able to have uh, Austria in our sphere of influence. That's good for good good for the future. That is only positive for the polar bear empire. Um, of course. <laughs> I can't get over this. We fucking... Ah! We fucking did it. We fucking created a polar bear empire. Not really too much of an empire, but yeah. But I think I'm going to go ahead and end this right here. Um, so yeah. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Whether or not you want me to continue this. Do you want me to turn this into a sort of a real let's play? Or do you want me to just... Um, keep it at this? I I'm actually kind of cool of making this into a let's play. I think I might actually just do that. Uh, I, I'm at least leading towards that right now. But still, of course, uh, I want to hear your opinions about the topic. So, um, yeah. If we are continuing, then uh, of course, uh, future, uh, like, keep. I, w I would like to um, continue invading Italy. Try to conquer more of Italy, basically. Because uh, Italy is in a really bad state right now. Surrounded by me and Austria, and like, all of these lands are ripe for the taking. Like I would like, I would love to conquer Puglia and Sicily, basically. Uh, mainly this place right here, though. Uh, of course, if we want to, go to conquer further north, we would have, we cannot do that right yet. We cannot do the capital province, which is annoying. But oh well. Uh, but yeah, fuck yeah, we did it. How about that? How about that game? How about that? So yeah, thanks so much for watching this episode of Let's Play Victoria 2 as Jan Mayen slash the Polar Bear Empire <laughs> or whatever. And um, most likely until the next episode, bye. But if not, then, you know, bye anyways, thanks for watching, etc, etc. I don't know, I'm shit at outros, I'm just kind of overwhelmed right now by this. So yeah, bye.